it's funny that we all get into self improvement and we start moving it in directions of bodybuilding fitness transformations money transformations financial independence freedom social skills getting girls da 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 all kinds of shit right we get into so, uh, self improvement and self development and such and yet we never learn the most basic concept the the baseline of self improvement like what's the one golden rule or the golden key of self improvement and i didn't learn it you probably haven't learned it and most people don't even teach us the most basic concept of self improvement and that's what this video is all about uh so this video is going to be life update 2023 probably q2 uh, not that i've any, ever made any a uh, single other life update in 2023 yet the last one was in 2022 maybe june july or august september or something like that and there's going to be a lot of topics that i'm i'm going to be going through and a lot of different connections that i'm going to be making and frankly if you've been on my channel for like a while let's say like a year two years three years most of these things most of these concepts most of these ideas the pictures even that i've shared on instagram or something else all of these things are going to start making sense to you so the longer you've been on this channel the more you're going to get out of this a single individual video bro look at the amount of fucking what am i supposed to get here what am i like i didn't expect this it to be this bad in the summer or the spring or whatever it is i mean hopefully i don't you know i don't, I don't want to get like a thousand mosquito bites or something but okay <clears throat> the topics i'm going to be discovering discussing today right the golden rule of self improvement um all the all the achievements and accomplishments i made in the past 2 3 4 years and maybe that should be a separate video altogether but like all the uh, achievements and accomplishments i made in the past 2 3 years uh taking credit away from myself imposter syndrome and tips on the imposter syndrome and that's going to be fucking unbelievably amazing actually um bodybuilding progress uh, right now game and pickup based revelations uh going back to okay i get that in in, in there a certain specific suicidal thought that randomly pops up or something um and I, this is something that i actually discussed with my parents in fact i discussed this with with my parents the last time that they came over which was probably june july of 2022 something like that so that's going to be a really interesting one um the discussion on no credit progress and da, 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 and the problem with like Tate Hamza this that the self improvement the red pill the manosphere the endless self improvement grind or something what the problem with that is okay so let's get into this <clears throat> do you want to be happy learn to give yourself credit for the progress that you make that's it that's the concept of self improvement that nobody really ever talks about and uh, it's really funny because that is literally the baseline concept of everything now really quickly ag- again the longer that you've been on my channel or something the more you would know about every single one of these things that i'm talking about but since 2020 2020 ish or something or right, is 2023 right so did mushrooms in 2019 at some point decided to change my entire life by getting out of the victim mentality decided to work every single day towards the things that i want in my life and start building start i start i moved into the creator mentality at that point which is which is exactly what it sounds like the victim is you're the victim of all, all circumstances external internal everything and you're always like trying to find excuses or something else holy shit look at the amount of fucking <sighs> and the creator mentality is basically the amount of uh sorry just understanding that you are the creator you're the person that creates everything and you're the one that's in control of life itself and the world itself right so moved into creator mentality in 2022 and changed my life or started to change my life immediately after in doing so i uh achieved 6% 7% body fat uh so low that is something that i never thought was accomplishable and i would never thought that i could actually get there that was something i didn't want i didn't even want to get down to 7% body fat that was just a test that i was pushing myself towards what i wanted to do really was to just get to like the z's like physique which is more around 12% ish body fat 10 to 12% body fat or something so once i accomplished that that's when i started moving more towards um 7% just to see if i can do it or not did that felt happy for a little while but that happiness didn't last uh then immediately after i got into pickup and game for a little bit the world shut down couldn't go into it even more but i made tremendous amounts of progress as someone that had like incredible social anxiety could not speak to absolutely anyone was af- afraid of pretty much every single beautiful girl that fucking ever existed could never open my mouth around them or, or anything uh at all either always felt weird or awkward or something letting my thoughts be known in places where i thought or people that i thought where other people's uh status in the hierarchy or something was higher than mine that's basically what social uh social anxiety and stuff kind of like does <coughs> if you think somebody else is a higher status then you basically just don't want to talk to them or something um so then i worked on that got over my approach anxiety and i didn't you know got over the fear of ever talking to anyone or anything ever again all that kind of stuff happened 
after that i moved into making money and i haven't really given you too many details but i've definitely shared a, a bunch um before that i was making like 1500 usd a month from my other bullshit tech support job or something all the way through the whole covid thing and all that kind of stuff right so 1500 usd per month um and from there i basically started off my own <laughs> started off my own business okay how do we do this <sighs> come on boy come on boy come on boy come on boy all right i think that should work way better better not follow me again kid this is fucking thousand dollar camera right here Okay. <coughs> Sorry about that. I'm going to leave that cut in just to keep it like natural and shit like that. But yeah. Ah, <coughs> uh, got into the business thing. Started off my business for the first time ever. This is so halfway like I I can't even understand where to go. And in the first year of and in the first year and only 8 months because 2 months out of that I was in a depression or like a rut where I didn't do a single thing and 2 more months I just didn't do anything. So 8 months out of the year uh in 8 months I basically ended up making more than 5 times the amount of money that I ever made before in my entire life. Accomplished that as well. And then on and then I don't even know like a thousand other things in the middle that I managed to do like you know learn kickboxing, learning cooking, this 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 everything, and I realized and this came in like another video or maybe another coaching call or something at some point somewhere. In fact, this is on the podcast with uh, Andy from Kill Your Kill Your Inner Loser as well. Is like what is the meaning and what is the point of life or something? Is like I accomplish anything and everything and I don't end up feeling happy at the end of it. In fact, let me kind of uh, I guess let me. I guess let me kind of bring in the that entire suicidal thought thing that I was just talking about like a second ago. <laughs> Every here and there, randomly or something. Uh, once I've accomplished another big goal and then another big goal and another big goal, and I accomplish like massive, massive, major goals or something like you know things that are top zero point one percent or something considered uh, unachievable or something by most people. Like you know, it requires lifetimes or some shit for people to uh, to achieve or something. Once I start accomplishing these kinds of goals, uh. I accomplish the goal. I end up feeling uh okay, that was cool. What's next? You know, and then I start moving towards like the next goal or something. And then when I start moving towards the next goal, it always starts off with another feeling or like a something of lack or something or something that I need to do to prove myself next. Like uh at this point in time I have two goals and you already know what those two goals are. And once again, I want to do those goals to prove to myself that I can do them. but also to some extent i feel like in my head there's a there's a part that thinks like if you can do this then you're worthy enough or you're good enough for something where does that come in this is so uh this is what i was discussing with my parents as well when they actually came over it was like no matter how many times i accomplish something or something eventually i come back to this like it's like a full circle thing right i don't know anything and i'm working hard working hard really motivated excited and then some stuff starts happening and you know start making progress progress and really good progress and then i can see like a future and everything else and like you know making insane progress and i hit my goal or something and then boom at the end of it i come back to the same circle at the end of it and i'm like okay what's next or that didn't really do anything it didn't really give me a lot of happiness it didn't really give me a lot of accomplishment that didn't really give me something that i was looking for or something in my life and i end up at like step 0 again and having done that like once twice thrice maybe multiple i don't know how many times right now at least 3 4 5 times i end up thinking like and that that zero step is really negative and that's where i feel like dude what the fuck is the point of accomplishing all of these things and doing all of these things um you know that are even impressive to, not only to myself but also to other people or something but what is the point of accomplishing all of these things when you come back to the step zero where you're like unhappy or i don't know what the word would be unhappy unhappy un- not at peace not at peace and uh, you know and the, so the suicidal thought kind of a thing or something that was was like, like i mean you know when i was in like a really bad depressive rut phase or something was like dude what if i just fucking jump out you know and like what if i just jumped out of this balcony or some shit and like ended it all like what would that even make a difference like, you know because like the whole cycle thing going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth like what, does it even make a difference you know one of those things um now i'm not saying that i have suicidal thoughts or some shit i'm just saying that was a thing that just came to my head at that point in time the reason why that came up and in fact the reason why that even the reason why i'm int- introducing this concept at this point here with respect to my family or something is because again the golden rule of self improvement also comes into the same thing and this is something that i'm noticing is what's been happening recently once again and that's what i'm saying like you're going to see so many different connections from different different places so if you remember that picture that i once made on my instagram with the old instagram which right now is deleted by the way <clears throat> where i uh, had that black and white picture and i said that you know my dad has never really told me that he's he's proud of me or something 
no matter what i've accomplished you know like 6% body fat this this money this that everything no matter what i've done in my life my dad has never come up to me and just said that oh okay then i'm proud of you you're doing a really good job keep it up you know something like that my dad never said that to me so when he came over at this point uh you know july or something of last year and that's when i basically told him like you know i've, I've literally kind of like never heard that from i'm 34 years old or whenever 33 at that point maybe i don't know i don't even remember at this point but you know i'm like 33 34 years old and i've accomplished so much more than anybody else ever has from including all of the other people that my dad has ever compared me to anybody else like this here's like i'll give you like fucking stupid fucking examples dude <clears throat> my dad keeps uh, saying bullshit like uh Oh look at Shahrukh Khan man he has such a fucking good body or look at Salman Khan he has such a good body look at Hrithik Roshan he has such a good body Amir Khan he has such a good body and like I'm right here like a fucking 6% body fat with a fucking Greek god physique that can do anything and everything with it and like everybody in the world admires my physique and wants my physique and ask is asking me for help for my physique and I never heard from my dad ever say like oh damn damn son like good job I, you know like you have a really good physique I admire your physique or or any even like the work that I put in like I have been training for 15 plus years now at this point 2008 to 2023 so yeah 15 plus years or something right at this point and these guys have seen me eating non-stop protein and chicken and fish and all I'm on all that kind of stuff my entire life uh they've watched me train at least 3 times a week minimum if not up to 4 5 6 times a week for the past 15 years or something they've seen me do my cardio they've seen i've been drinking or drinking i uh you know i've been eating meal prepping and going to the gym and shit when everybody else is sick when i am sick you know when uh, other people in, in the family are sick and we're all taking care of everybody else i still keep my discipline and my work ethic and everything else going and yet nobody has once ever said to me oh ketan i really admire your work ethic oh ketan i really admire your consistency oh ketan i really admire your discipline oh dude i am really very proud of you i'm very nothing i've never heard that from my mother i've never heard that from my father i've never heard that from my sister nobody has ever said that shit to me right So anyways I I mentioned that to him when he came over and that's why that thing happened that's why I posted that thing because that that wound thing was like pretty raw because you know that's when I I kind of like confronted him with it and then he just said that oh but we're always proud I'm like motherfucker I I don't know that you're proud I don't care if you tell that uncle or that dude or that dude or that dude or or you think in your head if you're proud like i mean i need to know that here while I'm still alive and while you while you're still alive that you know that you I and the other thing is the comparison thing My dad is actually even so forget the Shahrukh Khan and the celebrities and shit right my dad has even come up to me multiple different times and given me like these fucking examples of random mofos who are fucking clueless af like he's given this example of some other dude uh, who's the son of another doctor that he works with and this motherfucker the story that he gave me was like so fucking funny you're gonna, probably going to die laughing dude He said that uh oh that guy's so hardcore in terms of his bodybuilding he's so serious about his bodybuilding or some shit when he brings home tandoori chicken from like wherever the restaurant or some shit like any chicken right? he he brings home chicken from the restaurant or something he uh, comes down and washes it underneath the tap to remove all of its uh all of its seasoning and coating and all that kind of shit and i'm thinking because at that point in i was like already 8 years in or 9 years i'm like do that's the most retarded shit i've ever heard in my life this guy's a fucking donkey he, that's not something to like think that he's amazing that he's just a fucking moron but my dad is also uneducated about bodybuilding so what the fuck does he know right to him it's like fucking hardcore um so but you know that's that's an accomplishment oh that was like somebody else's work or something that he was like admiring in front of me And then there was another one something oh dude there was some fucking random ding dong in his office like at some assistant of his or somebody else and he was like and I and I saw this guy cuz I went to the hospital myself to like get something checked out or something and like I looked like fucking average like you couldn't tell in his shirt or in his clothes that that guy lifted or anything right and my dad was like oh this guy lifts a lot of weights too you should probably ask him for help or something i'm like are you fucking who are you have you lost your fucking mind old man <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you like do you know who you're fucking speak legitimately like do you know who the fuck you're speaking to like do you know how much how much studying i've done or some shit in this field like who am, why am i going to ask like random motherfuckers who don't even look like they lift or have anything behind them backing them to like give me advice or something so that shit has happened like a lot in my life like a lot um now where does that even come in <coughs> um <coughs> Blah, blah 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 so let me kind of okay so let's actually go into some of the 
some uh, some like let's just let's just take a couple of minutes and go full immodesty mode or something and let's just go into all of the shit that i've accomplished in the past four or five years right or even my entire life or some shit right youngest uh strength and conditioning coach at harvard probably the only oh the only indian kid that i ever went to harvard the only indian person that i know of till date that's ever gone to harvard has something changed since i've gone 2015 maybe but i don't think so the only indian kid that ever went to strength and conditioning at mcmaster only fucking indian guy that i know of um <clears throat> besides that uh, that's just like random shit that i'm throwing out there right the i think the youngest strength and conditioning coach from my country um i made like i said i just made in like in the first year of doing business in eight months i made like five times the amount of money that anyone's ever made before in order to do that i had to learn sales in order to learn sales i had to put in the fucking work and the grind i had to learn human psychology and all that kind of shit i had to build a product that was really really fucking good that got all the amazing results because of which people came to me to get results all of these testimonial transfers uh you know uh transformations and all that shit you've seen these on my instagram page and on, on all the other clients highlights and all that kind of shit i have as young as 12 year old girls benching 100 105 pounds to like 15 year old and 16 17 year olds that are benching uh benching uh, sorry that have put on 50 60 70 pounds that are benching two plates that are uh leg pressing fucking five to six plates i have guys that have put on 70 80 pounds i have my own mother's fat loss on there i have women's fat loss transformations on there i have the literal world record fastest uh, fat loss transformation that any human being has ever documented i've made multiple videos on how the science of any of that kind of stuff works how the lipolysis works how lipogenesis works how muscle building works rate of protein synthesis how do you elevate everything i've done i've maxed out every single thing and put everything out there um I, I did a bunch of networking for my for the money and this kind of stuff <laughs> in terms of game and shit went through like thousands of plus thousands plus fucking approaches did so many fucking boot camps this that like just ungodly levels of amount of work being done i have unbelievable levels of amount of fucking world records and video games my performance is fucking through the roof like it's insane every single thing again i'm gonna be immodest for like a couple of seconds or something i'm just gonna be like i literally have the midas touch anything that i turn turns to gold like if if i give a shit if i give a shit about the thing if i genuinely and passionately give a shit about doing well at it learning something or understanding something anything that i have in my life i basically turn to gold right um and yet still i end up getting like the the imposter syndrome or something and i still i i still okay so so that's that's just so many different things right i don't even have a list of all the things i've accomplished at this point going from there and this game and pickup thing uh so recently i did night game and night game like literally it it, it gave me like this this um revelation thing that happened and this is something that happens it, that that only happens in night game at this point because i'm new at it but it kind of like signal something really to me when i saw these girls that were like decked up in their artificial makeup and all that stuff in which bumps up their smv by like two to three points for a second there because they suddenly get artificially de uh, decked up for, by a couple of points or something it makes me feel like i'm here and they're here and i'm i'm begging or or working towards their validation like please like me because you're more attractive than i am which is really surprising to me with the amount of fucking day game that I've done, with the amount of game that in general that I've done, and also the amount of day game that I've done, and I've done the craziest shit in day game fucking already. And of course, I, you know, my girls are 9.5 fucking 10, and I've uh, approached a hot, like so many fucking other girls that are 8s, 9s, and 10s, and done so fucking well in day game, like done the weirdest kind of shit, like hit on girls with my shirts off, uh, I've hit on girls in like 8 sets, I've hit on girls like in, with other guy friends uh, right next to them, like I've done the craziest fucking shit just push the level push the level push the level even more but as soon as i came to this night game thing something that was new to me something that i didn't have experience in as soon as i got to that thing where this girl oh, i just put her status higher than me simply because of her elevated smv i might i put myself down here and when that happened i started playing validation game once again which means i start i basically forgot who i am completely i forget who katan said is completely i forget who intellectual muscle is completely i forget anything and everything uh, that i've accomplished in the world that i've brought to the world any value that i've created for the world or provided to the world anyone that i've helped in my life uh, any lives i've saved um anything that i've ever done i just forget everything completely just it just goes out of my head i completely forget my existence at that point i suddenly just think this is this thing is way higher than i am and you know please like me please like me kind of a thing that happens like immediately or something so that happened to me when I started doing, when I did night game like this last weekend or something. And that's when it kind of clicked in my head. Um, so then now let's introduce another concept or like another video, which which this really made sense to me. This was a video from Andy from uh, at killyourinnerloser.com. And he, what was the thing about? I he had something about gratitude or something like that. 
And in the video, he mentions um, you can keep on accomplishing things nonstop, nonstop, nonstop. You can just keep going and keep. Oh yeah, the video topic or something was stop cha- chasing, stop changing the goalposts, something like that. Stop changing the goalposts, which is literally my entire life. No matter how much money I make, I want to make more money next month. No matter how many girls I get, I want to get more girls next month. No matter how much muscle I make, I want to make more, get more muscle next month. No matter how lean I get, I want to get leaner next month. No matter what it is, I want to do better next month, because. for some weird reason my my understanding or something else is is my identity is in proving myself to be more or getting more or something um uh, which is really weird because if you keep changing the goal post every single thing that you accomplish so far just means fucking nothing right because like if i just think about it, i made another video where did i watch that video i was watching another video that i made for somebody else or something oh the homeless man approach i was i made a video on the homeless man you know how um, my rock bottom story uh, where a homeless man taught me how to pick up and that it's a true fucking story right and in that story i i mentioned that i had insane amounts of uh, cold uh, approach anxiety and stuff at one point in time and and i saw that this guy basically spoke to this girl and made it really really smooth and i was just thinking in my head that's what i used to value at that point in time he used to, he spoke to this girl and made it really smooth and he got a, he didn't have that much approach anxiety when he spoke to that girl and dude right now i am so far beyond that point that i have like james bond fucking level approaches i of course almost don't have approach anxiety at all i get numbers like fucking crazy like i mean girls love talking to me um i like you know that thing that i used to once think was like unbelievable that's the mountain that i would be very happy to be at i'm so far beyond that i'm like a couple of mountain peaks beyond that and i'm still not happy because i want to be the next thing and i want to get the next thing and i want to like you know it's a, it I, you it's something is like oh that thing when i accomplish that thing is going to make me feel peaceful or content or something and that's of course that's never going to happen of course that is never going to happen so that was a really interesting concept or something that he brought about and um and in that is is where the concept of this thing kind of also came through where is like um every time he accomplishes a big goal he literally just takes a couple of days off maybe even a week or two off and he just sits back and just fucking relaxes in in the glory of his accomplishment or something and just imbibes it and integrates it into his identity at this point and i was like dude that's a fucking unbelievable concept i don't know why i never thought about that shit because no matter what i do like i just said right so when i uh, anything challenging that happens I immediately think that this thing is challenging and it's up here and I'm here. Am I capable? Am I worthy or not? So you know, I'm always starting off at a lower level. Whereas the truth is, I've accomplished so much that ideally my self-worth and my this thing, my level of capability or my level of ability or something should be like, dude, I know that I can accomplish anything. What am I even scared of? Let's okay, did this work? Okay, no, let's pivot. Let's do this. Let's pivot. Let's do this. Let's pivot. Let's do this. But you're always at a level of peace and content in the back of your head knowing that no, I can do this. If anybody on planet earth can do this, I can fucking do this because I I've proven myself to be able to do this. But I for, I don't have that identity just yet. So so this is a revelation that I just got from pickup that recently just happened. And this is kind of where it, the, like I said and I'm this is not me going into victim mentality or some shit but this is the truth though like 100%. Uh, in my raising and shit I have never been taught to give yourself credit for the work that you do. It's always you either get the outcome this is the whole uh, toxic and rotate uh, binary uh, ideology thing. Either you get the result or you don't get the result. If you get the result Ideally you should have gotten the result because you're you're supposed to be smart enough you're supposed to be intelligent enough you're supposed to be hard working enough you're supposed to have been able to get the result you da, 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 everything was supposed to happen therefore that happened god forbid you don't get the result then 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 you're a complete and utter failure or some shit then 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 the issue and the problem is on you and this is something that my um so this is what my dad kind of says uh, when something goes wrong in the family or in the family or you know a, a, an event or something happens something that's wrong he says one of two things he says uh यार हम यार हम लोगों की तो बस यही प्रॉब्लम है ना दैट्स वॉट ही सज लाइक हम लोगों की तो बस यही प्रॉब्लम है सो दैट्स वन थिंग ही सज दिया वन ही सज यार तुम्हारी तो बस यही प्रॉब्लम है एंड बोथ ऑफ दोज दिटरल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन और ट्रांसलेशन ऑफ ईच ऑफ दम इज दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम विद अस और दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम विद यू लाइक इफ समथिंग रॉन्ग हैपन्स लाइक गॉड फॉर बेड आई वॉज अ डे और टू लेट एंड यू नो आई हैड टू सेंड समथिंग इन इट इन सेंड इन सो आई गॉड लेट इज बेड और समथिंग और आई वॉज लिविंग समवेयर फ्रॉम लाइक अ पार्किंग स्पॉट और समथिंग एंड आई बम्प समबडीज कार और समथिंग और आई लेफ्ट पार्क कार इन लाइक अ स्पॉट वेर आई डेंट नो आई वॉज सपोज टू लिव इन एंड अप गेटिंग अ पार्किंग टिकट और समथिंग द थिंग दैट ही सेज ऑलवेज इज दिस इज योर प्रॉब्लम दिस इज यू दिस इज योर प्रॉब्लम लाइक यू आर द प्रॉब्लम नॉट दैट ओ यू मेड अ बैड जजमेंट कॉल आ शेट दैट सॉक्स दैट्स ओके और यू नो ऑफ दिस अटैम्प 
attempt didn't go well okay you know what never mind let's just you know dust ourselves off and fucking get up his thing always is you are the problem like the problem is you it's not like something happened and that's the problem like you are the problem itself so that's something that i ha- that i have been raised with or something which is one thing and the second thing is i never get credit i've never been taught to take credit or never been taught to give yourself credit for the work that you do and the progress that you make like no matter how much amount of like i said you know like i would work, work through the entire thing 15 years of working always on my diet this that nobody ever came and told me oh good job but you know you know you're supposed to be doing this shit or something recently i made a video about like you know like because i think of myself to be such a god or something I fucking take cold showers every single day for the past 3 years. I've been eating non-stop like like a fucking champ. Uh, uh you know, I'm like all uh, natural unprocessed uh, whole ingredient foods. I never eat junk. I barely ever eat junk. Um I've been liquidizing meals to make it and everything for the past 4 to 5 uh, weeks or something. My diet and, and training has been on point. I've been training like a fucking savage. My diet has been on point. I've been trying to get in all my calories and I'm sick to my stomach every single day, but I still force feed myself all the food and I've been doing everything right. And then suddenly guys from the gym and started coming up and saying that oh dude you're looking fucking bigger bro that's you good job man that's fucking amazing and I'm like oh shit oh thank you and then you know and then somebody else said it to me oh yeah my friends wife on the phone saw me and it was like oh wow Kate and you're looking bigger right now that's really good uh and and you know I like one, one more person uh, in the gym or something said that to me I was like um and and that's when it clicked in my head like of course I'm bigger dude I've been doing everything fucking right for the past 5 6 weeks I've been eating like a champ I've been I've been doing it like fucking you know I've been eating till I'm sick every single day I've been training like a fucking savage uh I've been doing my cardio properly every single thing that is supposed to be done in terms of checking the boxes I've been doing it right of course I'm going to be bigger I'm going to make progress I'm going to be looking better or blah 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 like why was that such a, like why didn't I think of that like why didn't I know that I'm going to be making progress or something and the reason for that is simple because I don't give myself credit for the work that has been done right every single day the work has been done and yet I don't pat myself on the back and I don't let myself know oh dude you're doing exactly what needs to be done because my thinking and my identity is very binary it's like you get the goal or you don't get the goal and that's that's the most toxic thing in the world because by the time you become a millionaire there's like probably 999999 days or some shit in the middle well probably not but there's like 999 days at least in the middle b- before you get to a millionaire right so the millionaire outcome validation thing of getting the money means fucking nothing because the 999 days are the days that actually made you the millionaire right from being a fucking guy that barely made a thousand dollars a month to like 2000 to 5000 to 10000 to learning to multiply that to make that consistent to this this is all that kind of stuff every learning in the middle in the, getting over the imposter syndrome getting over the scarcity mindset getting over the abundance mindset all that shit in the middle all that learning that took 9999 days you're not giving yourself credit for becoming that fucking man who is worthy enough of becoming a millionaire the identity of the millionaire you're just looking at the outcome of a millionaire right so that's that's where you're losing out on the whole benefit of the whole chasing of any any single goal or something Um but yeah that's the that's literally the most important golden concept of everything is like give yourself credit for every single step of the way that you're making progress and do not un- misunderstand progress progress does not just mean if you got to go here then every single step has to go up that's not what that means progress just means like you know let's say it's this and then and then this so even the days that you're going down even that's me that's progress right because let's I'm going to give you this example you're you're trying to diet down for the first time or whatever and it's time or something and you know the first three dates and, and you set up a diet diet plan without any sweets or something and you're crushing it for the first three weeks and you know you lose like whatever 6 pounds or 8 pounds or something but in the third week in or something now you're like oh man do i got to fucking give up my sweets for the rest of my life and you break on the fourth week and you break on the fifth week and you break on the sixth week so you don't make any progress right because you you're cheating on your diet like every single week for week 4 5 and 6 but by the end of the sixth week you realize okay this is not going to be happening because i can't live with like this my entire life so i got to start moving some sweets into my diet and still get you know my calories going and my my restrictions going and my cardio going how can i keep making progress while i attach this thing into my diet and so week 7 8 and 9 you actually start making progress again so in week 1 to 9 you actually went like this then you probably went like this and then you probably went like this again right but this was progress too because this thing was required to get to this thing right but if you have like a negative mindset or something like as soon as those 3 weeks come in oh man i knew you were always going to be a loser bro oh i knew you were going to be you're brown bro your genetics suck bro i knew you're going to be a fucking endomorph bro like this going i knew that i knew you were going to fail bro like that negative bullshit is never going to help you if you don't give yourself credit for all the things and the things and the work that you that you put into it 
All right, so <clears throat> let me get a little bit of coconut water in. And let's see if there's any other important things in here. Because the biggest concept that I wanted to share, to be honest, I've already done. So let's see. I'm also fucking scared. I don't want to get like dengue or malaria or some shit. Because all of these goddamn um, mosquitoes around here. <clears throat> oh, yeah. So, yo. So I was taking credit away from myself from the... Uh, from the um, you remember I'm doing game and I got the outcome and I, I had like the most unbelievable one night something with this girl that I had right my brain immediately started going into taking out uh, taking credit away from me immediately it started going into taking credit away from me how did I do that by saying that oh she's a brown girl therefore of course she likes you because you're a brown guy um I don't know what else I was even thinking I, I don't even know what the other the other things didn't even make any sense oh she was looking for a boyfriend and you're like a really good bo a boyfriend quality guy or something something I don't even know what the other fucking bullshit ones were oh you just got lucky that's I guess let's just say oh you just got lucky I don't even know what the other things were but basically I started taking credit away from myself right <clears throat> now if that happens and your your brain starts taking credit away from you this is something really interesting that I've learned from this guy uh from the healthy gamer gt guy which was, uh, this is kind of like the imposter syndrome. All you want to do is make two lists, basically. So one is, okay, let's just say you got lucky and you didn't have anything to do with it. So what are all the reasons why you got lucky? So, right, so she's a brown girl, so she's kind of like a brown, brown guy. Uh, let's say you have really boyfriend vibes, so maybe that's why. Let's say you just got lucky. Da -da -da. So fill this list out with all the things, that, the reasons why you think that you got lucky or something and this couldn't happen again. Then on this side, I want you to make the list of all the things that you still did, that actions that you actually had to do for that outcome to take place. I went out and actually practiced game. That's true. I went out and practiced game and actually approached this girl. That's true. I went out and practiced game, approached this girl, and I did well at it. That's true. I followed up with her on text. That's true. I made her feel really comfortable uh, during the date. That's true. I sexually escorted properly to make her feel comfortable. That's true. Um, I showed her an amazing night, which she really, really enjoyed. That's true. I put in all the work and time and effort into learning all of these things for the rest of my entire life before this. That's true. So if you look at it, there's far more things that you can actually legitimately take credit for than things that are just like, just, uh, just whatever, um, like fluke or chance or something. Or even if they're 50-50, even if they are 50-50 and you think that that's like a fluke chance, there's still some amount of credit that you can give to yourself that this is the stuff that I actually worked towards. Signif like I had to take these steps. Had I not even left bed, I would have not had this fucking result. Right, so even getting up in the morning and leaving bed is like still credit for getting the result because had I not left my bed, I wouldn't have had this fucking result, right? So that's how you get over, get out of this imposter syndrome thing where, the, where you just like take credit away from yourself. Um, so that's that, that's that. <coughs> uh, okay, body burning progress right now, that's done. Uh, da -da 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 discussion, no credit progress already. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, cool. So, yeah, so that was the final thing. I think one of the things that seems to happen, like when I mentioned that, you know, I lose my identity or something, I forget everything. I think one of the things that seems to happen is I think I feel like I go back to like that 18 year old Gaten or something who either I didn't like or I used to consider was like a loser or something back in school or uni or something. The guy that got taken advantage of by everyone, by his first girlfriend, by his first boss, by his friends. I couldn't defend myself, couldn't fight, didn't have a physique, did, did nothing. Like, I mean, you know, I was too scared to even put myself out there. Even though even though I had intelligence, I was too scared to like share my ideas back then. Like all of those things. So I didn't like that guy, that 17, 18 year old kid or something back then, that kid. Um, and uh, what's the point there? But the thing is, I'm not that guy. Nobody is ever that guy, right? Nobody, during times of pain or trauma or some shit, you kind of go back to that kid stuff. But you're not really that guy, right? Obviously, you've made so much of a fucking difference and so many different life uh, scenarios and this, that, and, and learning lessons and wisdom and everything else accumulated over time that you're a completely different person at this point in time, which is where that whole credit thing kind of comes in. It's like you want to give yourself credit every single step of the way that you're doing everything every single thing like you want to give yourself credit for everything that's happening every success that you've had every single thing because otherwise you are not going to ingrain it into your identity this is where i feel like the whole uh andrew tate or hamza or even actualized like leo stuff or everything else none, none of these guys have like the this side of it the the encouragement side of of self-development improvement or something the feminine aspect of it where you give yourself credit and the whole self-love thing um even even leo doesn't he's spoken about some of these concepts but he, even he doesn't give it properly or something because even his stuff is like very very strongly um what's the word i'm looking for very strongly um put into uh there's a dog right there um 
guilt almost or guilt tripping almost or you know like like lashing you into like action or something whereas this part is like no you comfort yourself you hug yourself you comfort yourself and you're like no 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 you have been putting in the effort no no, no this is true that th- th- what you're saying is wrong you're not a loser just because this this thing happened today or something you, i know that you're capable or something you know all that kind of stuff that that positive is like a like an encouraging dad kind of a thing or like an encouraging big brother kind of a thing you know like somebody that's on your fucking side who's not sugarcoating shit not lying to you not sugarcoating shit but at least you know they're looking at you and telling you like clearly that this is how it is like it's not in the negative aspect that you're saying and there's no need to go like and sugarcoat shit, shit into or something either but you got to give credit where credit is due you're, you're putting in the work you're putting in the effort so you got to give yourself credit and and look at yourself and stand straight in the mirror and be proud of yourself for everything that you're doing um but yeah so that's all i have for this video uh i, I kind of thought it was going to be longer than this one but i don't even know how long this is but this is pretty good anyways <clears throat> if you helped if this helped you out help me out with a like comment share subscribe so on so for the youtube algorithm and i shall see you all next time peace mm.